Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Dragons 148 scale JU188A1 Ratcha. Lovely, lovely box art. I have to say, saw the box art and straight away was like, wow, that's very, very impressive. Now, we don't actually do a lot of uh, reviews of Dragon purely because there doesn't seem to be as much round as there used to be. A lot of reboxing, things like that. But also the prices can be a little bit high. But uh, sometimes you have to build one because it's the only one in its scale or type. So what we got down here is that JU188A1. Beautiful, beautiful box art, like we were saying. That's real old school, very nicely done. So a quick run round on the box. You can see we don't have a lot there. We've got your kit number up here, which is 5517. And we've got some pictures there of the built-up kit. And doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? So, as you can see, we are a sealed box. Never seen in here before. So we'll just slide a knife in and in half. Okay, so opening up the box, we are greeted, as you can see, by multiple, multiple bags of this. Now, to be honest with you, I know nothing about this type of aircraft whatsoever. So excuse any mispronunciations or different areas of things like that. So down in here, we are looking for the instructions. As you can see, we've got two little bits of photo etch down there. It looks like a wrench, but it's probably not. Okay, <laughs> I've started already. Okay, small little decals. Dragons, quite infamous really, I suppose. Decal pullout sheets, very old school way of doing it. So they're saying the master series and the various things. So down in here, starting off, colour call outs, usual things you might imagine right the way through with that one. Straightforward into the cockpit, doing the actual flight deck type area. That sort of gondola underneath the actual cockpit section as well as that one goes through. Okay, and then attaching it to the rear part of the fuselage. Down in the back end, obviously you've got the tails going on and the rudder systems. Looks like you could probably quite easily make that a moving part with those ones, even though they're not. Okay, tail wheel being fitted down in there, as you can see. And then obviously we've got the engine, the cells on the outside. Obviously choices if you want to do it with the cow flaps open or closed which again, another nice touch on that one. Right, how do we find our way in here? Oh, my God, is stuck. Ah. There we go. We're in nine. Yes, eight, nine, that's it. Try and find our way around. Okay, props being fitted, and then obviously onto whichever choice of uh, cow flaps you're going with. Then we're actually onto the wings. So we've got a wing tip system on the outside with the control surfaces. You have got some holes to open up as well, so don't forget to do those. And then obviously we've got the mechanics uh, down in there for the actual ailerons being fitted on there, engine the cells going down as well. And obviously you've got that gear system put in. As you can see, it's very, very modular. Talk about getting your money's worth out of a kit. Classic example of it. Torpedo being fitted together on there and then obviously onto its racks underneath. Belly plate being fitted in. You do get a crew access uh, ladder system as well for those being fitted in, nice touch. And then down in here, we've got, uh, I don't even know what that is, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it looks like it's a type of radar uh, or a, maybe an early type of radar system on that one. Okay, over on the front here, we've got the guns. So obviously defensive and offensive type guns. Looks like some type of strafing gun down there at the front, the way that that one's been done. And then I would say they've got the turret up here on the top. Those ones being fitted. And then the glasswork, which again, probably be a bit of a handful to get this one in, especially when you've got a moving clear part going in the top of it as well. Okay, so those being fitted up onto there. And then obviously the painting and masking. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've been building for, professionally 20 years, 40 plus years past that now. That seems to be one hell of a complicated way of putting a kit together. That does tend to be the thing with Dragon. They can be very, very modular. They do like to get their money's worth out of different molds. And again, love it or hate it, it's one of those things you're gonna have to take your time dry fitting, test fitting right the way through just to make sure they all go in. So, having a look around at some of the parts. Let's start in the clear parts. For a change, normally we do them last, but this time we'll do them first. Okay, so as you can see, that looks very, very nice indeed. As you can probably see there, it's a little bit wibbly wobbly when you look at it, but actually, you're looking at it in a closer version as I am. I'm sat here, probably, I don't know, a foot away from it, and it doesn't look too bad to me. Okay, it's not 100% clear, but that's a very, very complex curve to try an injection mold. 
So actually, I don't think it's too much of a problem. Maybe may, once you've masked it up, uh, and then obviously unmask it, see what it looks like, and if not, dip it before you attach it. But yeah, there we go. So that's those ones down in there like that, okay? You have got this optional little piece here. Again, this is that bit that goes on the top, so I'm not even sure what it is. Excuse my ignorance, I'm sure a lot of you will tell me, but there we go. Okay, we've got a couple of bits of photo etch as well, so you can see a very nice piece down in here, which is part of that system on the top, okay? So down in there, looks like we've got some uh, bullets, and then we've got these various items and with the actual gun sights and other items on there just like that. We've got this other sprue as well. And again, I have the foggiest what that is, but there we go. We've got that one down in there like that. This is a great review. <laughs> this is, I know nothing about German bombers. I know a man who does. Okay, decals. Actually, very nice indeed. Got the spinner decal. Again, never really a fan of these because you can't get them go down exactly how you'd want. But uh, as I say, those don't look too bad. They're very, very thin, quite flat, but not overly dead flat. So that should be absolutely fine, just like that. Okay, let's get into the bits we do. Know. So, okay. in bag one, we've got a big old bag down in here. We've got the fuselage and the wings. So let's start with the uh, fuselage section itself. Okay, so where are we? Over here. Okay, so as you can see, it's not too bad at all. Okay, some little bit of flash, but most of it, I say most of it, isn't actually on the parts. The sprue's a bit flashy, the parts all seem to be absolutely fine, okay? So if we whip around on something a little bit closer, as you can see, we don't actually have any riveting detail, but we do have very nice crisp panel lines running right the way through. Again, you can probably see it just under here, a little bit of flash on this one, so you just wanna be mindful when you're popping it together, test fit it, see what's going on, see why it's not going together, and then take the necessary steps to rectify it. Okay, and then if we just whip up one side, we'll whip down the other. The parts, again, a little bit of flash on them here and there, but generally, I don't think they're too bad at all. Okay, down in there. On the inside, obviously, we've got a tiny bit of detail for the tail wheel, but to be honest, it's, yeah, it's a little bit gnarly, and it's got a load of ejector pins in it. Fuse a large half, we're not worried about. And again, some of the seats, a little bit flashy, yeah, just a little bit of a cleanup required on all the parts, but generally they are all there. Typical Dragon S, and it's the chinky plastic, which we like, because then it's easy cleanup normally. Okay, so wings, as you can see, it's gonna be a big old bird when she's done here, tops and bottoms of the wing sections. And again, there's no riveting detail, but you have got some very nice details on this one. So if we look at this wing, as you can see, you've got some nice details all around these, the actual, uh, I think these are the fueling points on the wing tanks. Very nicely done and pretty good shape all the way on this one. I don't know if you can see it there. That's a tiny little sink mark, which I assume is off of this. So it's got a little bit of sink mark in there, which is, you can just about feel it. So you might want to just pop along with a smidge of filler in there. And again, the odd little panel line doesn't go all the way through. So you need just to clean that one out a little bit to go through but I don't think that's too much of a problem. On the underside one, you'd say you've got a little bit more with the access uh, screws all underneath those access panels. That's all down in there and all the parts in there. Unfortunately, it does look like the flaps are just molded in the up position, okay? There's no real internal details to any of this, as you might imagine, because a lot of it is gonna be with that separate gear system down in there. Okay, so next up we've got a bag with a couple of things so down in here we've got the engine and the cells which are absolutely sorry the gondola bottom which is absolutely a chunk and a half down in there and again various parts on sprue l down in here so if we start around here got the tailplanes and the various parts the actual ailerons no problem at all we've got the flight deck floor and we've got the guns so we've got that big old strafing gun on the front couple of defensive guns on the side and then over on the other parts as you can see we've got the uh, mounts down the side here for the actual torpedoes some of the parts on there and then the front end of the actual forward fuselage 
with that sort of gondola hanging down underneath the front with obviously ready for all that glass work on the top again one of those very nicely done on there and again a little bit nicer on this one I don't know if it's a later sprue been added but the actual panel lining and the or well, the raised lines look a little bit more recessed don't look too bad there's a couple of jet pins in there but actually i think it'll be below the floor and there isn't anything really apart from these two here but i don't think you're going to see those anyway so that's not too bad instrument panel details you can see on this side actually that's very nicely done some good job down in there and again even on the blind side some nice molding in some of the details on those okay and we got down in here the actual tail planes rudders and such like so again you probably just run down the middle okay as you can see not too bad there's no real problems with any of those and on the inside again when you look at it you can see it's a little bit lumpy bumpy might be just making sure you've got those sanded down before you sandwich in the other one just to make sure they are clear of each other. Generally though, all the rest looks very nice indeed. Okay, into the engines. So down in here, we've got the twin pack. Okay, which is a spruce C, sorry, D. Okay, and as I say, we can walk along this one. Nice details. And again, not much in the way of engine detail down in there but you can have it as we saw with the uh, cow flaps open or closed to give a little bit more detail down in those areas. And again, there's nothing much to see on the inside. Okay, so you've got two of those. And then down in here, we've got the gear, torpedoes. So again, another set. So down in here, we've actually got the wheels. There's no weight on wheels, but the hubs are beautifully done. Really nice details in all of those. That's very nice indeed. Got the props again, a little bit of flash on them. Are gonna need a little bit of clean up as you make your way round. Generally, no problem on any of that at all. Gear doors again, unfortunately, we have got some ejector pins in the middle there, but actually that's not too bad to get rid of those. But we do have ejector pins again on the actual parts, which always annoys me, especially when it's on a rounded one and quite a difficult place to get into as well. Okay, so you are gonna to need to do a little bit of clean up in there. Torpedo, again, doesn't look too bad actually. A little bit of flash again on this box, on the back, things like that. The screws look quite nice, but again, it might have been nicer to have a little bit of photo etch so you could actually put the screws in on the back there and bend them in for a little bit more scale effect. Generally not too bad at all. So obviously you've got two torpedoes just like that. And then you've got another system with the gear and the doors on there. And there you have it. Again, if it sounds like I'm not impressed, it's because I'm not. It is an older kit, to be honest, but it's just got, it's almost typical Dragon. And it says, it's not that I'm not a Dragon fan. I've built lots of Dragon kits over the years. Dense to be though, they are just a little bit of a handful. Very, very modular. Dragon always tend to get as much money as they can out of a mold. So if that means breaking it up and they do lots and lots of different versions of things as it comes through, that's what they tend to do. Hence, whilst different wingtips, different tails, different front ends and stuff like that, it can make for a difficult kit to put together for a novice or somebody who's just coming into the hobby. Probably wouldn't start off building Dragon. Also the parts, Again, Dragon haven't sort of moved along or evolved like other companies. So they tend to be sort of that, I would call it sort of, you know, around about the, the sort of millennium time of detail. So you've got pretty good detail all the way through. Just watch out for certain things like ejector pins all over the place uh, and stuff like that. But there again, this is an older kit, I do believe. So from that point of view, it's probably wise. It is a little bit like it. But anyway, it is available if you did want to get it from us over at the PM store. Link down below as always. So anyway, that's the Dragon 148 scale JU 188A1 Ratchet. Thank you.